The four times Floyd Mayweather almost went down. The one time he did go down. In 2004 versus Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, Floyd gets caught. Famous for telling Chop to stop crying, this fight showed Floyd dominating, but got caught a couple times by the slick, hard-punching Southpaw. 2010 against Hall of Famer Shane Mosley, Floyd gets caught not once, but twice. This might've been the worst we've ever seen Floyd hurt. Floyd showed his strong recovery skills and ended up figuring out Shane's style and never got touched again for the rest of the fight, cruising to a UD victory. 2014 against awkward hard-punching Marcos Maidana. Maidana wobbles Floyd at the end of the round, which leads to rumors of his tooth getting knocked out and Maidana making a weird voodoo necklace wearing that tooth. And now the one time Floyd actually did go down. 2006 for Zab Judah. Zab spins and catches Floyd with a check hook, dropping Floyd. His glove here clearly touches the canvas, but the referee blew the call. What other fighters had better recouping powers than Floyd? After Devin Haney's dominant victory over Regis Progre, a lot of comparisons have been thrown out between him and Floyd Mayweather. This Floyd Mayweather was very efficient with his punches and his footwork. Floyd mastered the art of head games. He, Floyd's classic Floyd Philly role where he would have the one hand up here to block the left hooks from coming in, then he would turn and keep his shoulder up to block any straight rights. And of course, classic vertical waist movement. Devin Haney did have a lot of similarities to Floyd. Devin Haney's defense was sharp. He employed a lot of that vertical waist movement. He also employed a lot of leg movement. He would hop in and out very quickly. Devin seems more comfortable tying up in the pocket and always remaining in his range. Devin is also a very, very fast, sharp puncher. He uses lots of reactive measures to set traps and then counter. Devin has underrated speed and most of all power, especially now that he's at 140. Who wins if Devin would have fought a prime Floyd? Tell me in the comments. Floyd compared to Shakur defensively. If you see Shakur stands square in front of his opponents and keeps that earmuff defense up here. He does this because he wants to invite his opponents to make the first move and throw the first punch so he can counter. Now Shakur defensively is very reliant on his feet. He hops back forward and front forward in a quick rabbit-like hop. He wants to get out of the way of the punch and he hops right back forward to be able to counter his opponent. He will be right in front of his opponent and they think they could touch him. And then when they throw, he just moves his head and his waist back just an inch to elude the punch. Then he's able to come right back in and throw a shot. This keeps him in the pocket the whole time. Floyd stands sideways. He's at an angle at the whole time with that Philly shell. Floyd is very waist dependent. He goes low, he goes all the way down, vertically all the way down and all the way up very fast. That famous Floyd roll, as he keeps his hands up here, he leans back on the ropes as you see, and, and he's able to turn, block the shot with his shoulder, and then block any hooks with his head while staying in the pocket. What do you think of the differences? Tell me in the comments. Everybody knows Floyd Mayweather is famous for his work on the hand pads. There's a recent video of Javante Tank Davis, which is just eye-catching. So I wanna compare Floyd Mayweather's pad work versus Javante Tank Davis's pad work. <laughs> Javante is more of like shotgun blast, like very quick, very little actually head movement. It's all just hand work. Um, but one thing about Tank is you can see, he doesn't turn his punches over. With Floyd's though, as you could see, he's turning those shots over more and he's incorporating more movement. Who do you guys think look better on the pads? Who do you think is really the king of hitting those focus mitts? Let me know in the comments.